Mars was nuked and they are hiding it. Listen, friends, cause I'm gonna drop a real hard red pill on y'all. You all like gas, so let me call your attention to one gas in the periodic table called Xenon. Xenon ain't no ordinary shit. It's a noble gas, so it doesn't react with anything. And it has five stable isotopes, meaning these fuckers don't decay once produced. Now Mars has excess of XC-129, with respect to XE-130. This is curious because all XE in a solar system was produced in a supernova, which produced a nebula and all of our shit formed from some 4.5 billion years ago or whatever. And XE-129 to XE-130 ratio is the same on all planets, except Mars and Earth. Actually, Earth's xenon ratio is in line with the rest of the solar system. In air simples, from before 1945. After 1945, Earth has XE-129 excess and will have it until the sun burns it. That's because if you fission uranium and fast neutrons, like in an exploding bomb, the process produces 10 fucking times XE-129 than XE-130. All nukes testing on Earth after 1945 caused a 7.2% increase of XE-129 compared to pre-nuclear Earth. Now hold your hat, cowboy, because Mars has 271% the amount of XE-129 compared to pre-nuclear Earth, or 171% increase. So it means that the total yield of nuclear processes on Mars was fucking 21 times the yield of all nukes ever detonated on Earth. Someone nuked the shit out of Mars, and that's why the place is a fucking wasteland. Now, here's another kicker. NASA had this evidence since Viking 1 measured XE isotopes back in 1976, and they said nothing. Instead, people who said that pig-related is artificial got ridiculed. Even if any moron can see nature does not make shit like this. It's sort of like a highly classified black program. You don't want the Russians or the Chinese to know what we're doing. Because a lot of scientists didn't want their colleagues to know what they were doing because of the embarrassment factor. To interfere with the delicate electronic system on a nuclear-tipped ICBM. experimenting with ways to weaponize people with ESP. He was just a real quiet guy. Um, came to town, he never bothered anybody, he never gave anybody a hard time, he was never in trouble. And, um, you know, if you had a conversation, it was a real intelligent conversation with him. You know, he's just, just not the guy that I would think would be the Unabomber. What is man become? 